Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Gabby's here with your battle of the day. Um, it's been a pretty exciting week, all things considered. I think this is the first week I've ever actually uploaded all in a row. So yeah, let's do that. And it looks like for our battle today, we are playing Diego from Peru, who's running a chalk team. Except there's no C. So it's a... Salk? <laughs> Salk. <laughs> Caesar, Kangaskhan, Landris, Amoongus, Heatran, and Thunderous. Okay, so there's no... So it's S-L-A... Uh, well, uh, you can spell like S L A K slack to her. <laughs> I'm going to spend way too much time at Team Preview trying to figure out the perfect acronym for this rather than like actually bring something to play. But that's okay, because sometimes battles are more about amusing yourself than trying to win. Anyways, um... Eh. So obviously I think Landorus is going to be a really strong play here. Entei, except for the Heatran, would be great. Um, I really want to leave Landorus by Lodic, honestly, but I don't think that's a good idea considering that those two would consist of both of my Heatran counters. And I think I am going to have to bring Metagross to this game. Um, it just can do too much. Uh, damage between being able to ice punch things. Zen Headbutt will be a definite check for that. Amoongus, um... Yeah, I don't... Uh, it's not the best play, but I don't really want to bring my Amoongus or my Thunderous to this game. So it is what it is. <laughs> Good luck and have fun, Diego. Um... Yeah, this is this is honestly one of those games where I know it's gonna be more about how I play than like what I bring, if that makes sense. Um, but it looks like we picked a first great play. He leads with Kangaskhan and uh, his Thunderous. I have my Landorus gonna get that Intimidate onto that Kangaskhan early in the game, um, and Thunderous too. But it's not Defiant. Oh God, for a second I thought it was Defiant, and I was gonna be like. <laughs> Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, so PSA, Defiant Thunderous is now something you have to worry about on Battle Spot. Thankfully, that didn't come into play here. Anyways, um, gonna make an interesting play here. I am like 99% sure he's gonna fake out my Landorus and then go for Thunder Wave onto Entei. Um, despite past experiences with Thunder Wave on Entei, I am going to Sacred Fire that Kangaskhan in hopes of burning it so I can just cripple its damage output for the game and not have to worry about superpowering it next turn. That being said, if I don't get the burn, I will be faked out, which means I will have a chance next turn to go for it, basically. Um, and Thunderous just goes immediately for Swagger onto Entei. Um, unfortunately, Entei is a physical attacker, which means if I do punch myself in the face here, it won't be good. That being said, Entei, you're not gonna get hacked out. You're not gonna get... Entei gets hacked out. <laughs> um, that's okay, though, because as you can see, um, that Swagger didn't actually do a lot of damage to me. That's probably because I'm physically bulky. Um, it's not really that big of a concern. The problem now is who am I more afraid of? Am I more afraid of Thunderous doing Thunderous things or am I more afraid of that Kangaskhan? It is still intimidated, so I am going to go for Rock Slide. If anything here is going to KO anything, he's going to either have to A, dogpile Entei or B, um, whatchamacallit, uh... HP Ice Landorus, which Rock Slide has a chance of stopping. Um, so yeah, the real question is, do I continue to roll stuff with Entei, or do I switch out? Um, I'm gonna go for it one more turn, just because I'm incredibly skeptical that I'm gonna die this turn. Um, Kangaskhan leaves, he's probably gonna send in Heatran, which means I should really hope that I never mind, it's a Landorus. Um, I still wanna get that burn then. And actually that Intimidate will minimize my own uh, swagger damage if I punch myself in the face. So hey, that's pretty good too. Um, he does send in Heatran for the Thunderous spot, but I am okay. I just rock slid 
Heatran avoids the attack. It doesn't have a balloon. I don't really care about that. Um, it's more important that I didn't go for the superpower, actually. Entei! Oh, come on, buddy. Entei punches itself in the face again. Um, so now, now this is kind of puts me in a little bit of a tricky spot because I have to take one of these guys out. Um, my guys, I have to switch them out, not kill myself. Um, I think Landorus is going to be helpful overall. Um, my Lodic has a pretty good matchup against both these things. Entei, please, for the love of God, just attack something this turn. It's clear he doesn't have a Moongus, which is why I'm actually being a little bit more brash with Entei at this point. Um, and, you know, this Entei loves to get hacked out, so chances are it'll die this turn, and I'll get a free switch in for... I don't know, probably Metagross. Landorus goes for the Rock Slide, um, does a decent amount to Entei, does, like, nothing, and Entei gets just KO'd by the hacks. This is not my game, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already mentioned it on stream, but just in case I didn't, this is the same exact Entei that um, lost me two games at Worlds because it decided to just be fully paralyzed for life. Um, in terms of what's the biggest threat right now, we do know I'm pretty sure that that Landorus is locked into Rock Slide at this point. Not 100%, obviously, but I'm gonna say yes. So I'm actually gonna go for the kill onto his uh, Heatran with that Scald, and I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna try and protect with Entei. Oh, but if I were gonna protect, I should go for the kill on Landorus, because Entei won't care about Heatran. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for the protect. Um, Heatran is going to be taken out and probably subbed in with his Thunderous, which it does happen. Um, Entei will snap out of confusion finally. Thank you, Entei. I really appreciate your help at this point. Um, Landorus does go for the Rock Slide again, confirming that it is locked in. Um, so this is okay. It's not the worst. But my Lodic also flinches. Oh my god. Four turns lost to Hax. Four turns. Okay, so he's probably going to go for some sort of thunder-like attack on my Lodic. I'm going to get my Lodic out of there. I am really just trying to gain back momentum at this point, and the best thing that'll do that for me is either A, Entei gives me a free switch, or B, which would be amazing, Rock Slide misses, and then Stone Edge hits and crits and kills that Thunderous. Um, granted, we know nothing about Thunderous's spread right now, except for the fact that it has Swagger, and it's apparently out to get Entei. So, <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I will be surprised. I mean, if it does work, if it does work out. If it doesn't work out, then that's probably what I'd put your money on. Anyway, Thunderous does go for the pred predictable play, and it actually outspeeds Landorus, meaning Landorus is probably not locked into Rock Slide unless it's banded. That being said, Entei lives up to its true potential and does absolutely nothing. It's okay, buddy. The good thing, though, the good thing about this is, so my Metagross actually is fairly fast. Um, and by fairly fast, I mean it's actually kind of stupidly fast. Uh, so I know that after a Protect here, I will actually outspeed his Landorus now. Um, that being said, he may or may not decide to switch out Landorus and switch into Heatran, which I think is what I would do if I were him. So I'm actually going to go ahead and superpower the Landorus slot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be Reckless and Mega Evolve and then just go straight for the Ice Punch into Thunderous so I can make it a two-hit KO. He does switch out Landorus and does send in Heatran, so that superpower is a great play. <laughs> At least I have that going for me. You may hacks me out, but I still got my brain. <laughs> so yeah, that being said, Metagross could be swaggered here. Oh, okay. Actually, he swaggers the Landorus, so depending on my luck, this will probably KO that Heatran. Again, though, that's depending on my luck, which, as you all know, has been terrible. But not anymore. Superpower does connect. Thank God. Does get the KO. Thank you, Swagger. You actually helped out for once. Um, the bad news here is that I did Mega Evolve, which means that Metagross is going to take an Intimidate next turn. Um, 
The good news is, is that Ice Punch actually one hit that Thunderous, which I was not expecting. Um, that Thunderous doesn't have Life Orb, which is weird, because normally if they're like really super offensive, aka not bulky, they have Life Orb. Um, I probably started that actually. Anyways, so this is great because at minus one, Ice Punch will kill that Landorus. I don't have to care about that. So my best play here right now is to switch out Landorus so I can get Intimidate coming back in. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess the real question is whether or not Kangaskhan has Sucker Punch. Um, I think that if, if Metagross dies to Sucker Punch here, um, that would actually work out in my favor, which is why I'm going for it. That being said, he could also fake out an Earthquake, but that would also damage his Kangaskhan, which would put it in KO range for my superpower. So I think that this was the best play here. That being said, Landorus protects, so it's not Assault Vest, it's not banned, I don't know what it is. Um, Kangaskhan is going to go straight for the double edge into my Lodic, hopefully. Yes. Good. Good. And my Lodic actually looks like it's going to take that like a freaking champ. You go, my Lodic. You go. Um, anyways, Metagross is still at full health now. Um, which means it is impossible for him to KO me with that Sucker Punch. And I'm going to actually go for a Recover onto my Lodic. I know this seems like a kind of strange play, um, but the best thing I can do here is try and get um, Landorus in. Uh, that being said, when I'm down to HP like this, and I think there's a good shot of me like sticking around for another turn, sometimes I will just recover because I can. Which will work out here because now it is going to be uh, my Lodic Metagross Landorus versus his Kangaskhan. Despite all of that horrible luck, I managed to pull out a win. Um, for those of you watching at home, I think the turning point was when he, I decided to go for that superpower into the Landorus spot. I think if I would have, um, I'm going to go for Iron Head because it's more accurate. Um, if I would have just, uh, you know, rock slid there in kind of a like, well, I'm, I can do neutral damage, maybe I can flinch move, um, I don't think that would have worked out. Likewise, if he wouldn't have swaggered me, I, well, he didn't have Choppleberry, so it would have depended on how bulky that Heatran was. But, um, you know, if I would have punched myself in the face there, that also probably would have lost me the game. Um, but that's why it's important to kind of keep your head around, even when you are just kind of losing RNG rolls like it's a casino or something. <laughs> um, because you never know what can happen, and this is a really great example of that. So thank you for watching. Um, you know, I am going to be streaming tonight. I am like 80% sure it's going to be Pokemon. There's a chance I might stream something else. Uh, it really depends on my mood. Um, but please stop by. You can find the link to my Twitch channel down below. Um, and if you want updates on just what I'm doing in terms of streaming or whatever, uh, check out my Twitter. The link is also down there. Um, and uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, one more thing. Uh, thank you for all of the you out there who have subscribed. Uh, please keep telling your friends. Keep pressing the like button. Um, and yeah, thanks for sticking around. Um, I will be back tonight slash tomorrow. Um, yeah, have a good day. See you, everybody.